Hi everyone, today here is visual effects tutorial here in order to explain you how to animate objects and parameters into Cinema 4D. Remember to enable the full HD mode into YouTube to enjoy our full quality tutorial. So let's proceed. Create something like a box, simple box. And now let's proceed to animate this box. Well, the basic animation in Cinema 4D means um, uh, moving this object through the time, rotating or simply changing some of its parameters. Of, uh, for example, here is our static object. Uh, dragging the timeline cursor we see it's static. Even if we move to another frame or, and we move our box, it's uh, always static. To change its position through the time to animate this box, we you, we must use keyframes. Keyframes uh, record the parameters of a frame of a single frame, and then interpolates this parameter with the, the parameters recorded in another keyframe set in another uh, place in the timeline. Okay, let's begin. For example, uh, activate this uh, little red box into your timeline called uh, auto, uh, auto key which records every every change in each keyframe you make directly on the viewport and turn it into keyframes so as you can see at the first um, first frame frame 0 i uh, the box was here and the firm and the frame uh, 27 the frame, the box is here, and the box is animated uh, through the time. Well, keyframes, for example, if uh, we set to a frame zero, a parameter to zero, and we set this, that's the same parameter to five at the frame five, at the frame two it will be two, at the frame three it will be three. That's how the keyframe works. It's a really, really useful, and every program uses keyframes in order to animate parameters. So, we can see this little black box is uh, represent every every frame and the position recorded in every frame. With the auto key activated, every change we make automatically affects our animation. So now I change this animation and we can see it in the viewport directly uh, remember to turn on to turn off auto, uh, auto key in order to make normal changes in your box in your objects without affecting your um, your final result results in order to use um, single keyframes without using the auto key uh, feature just click this little box here uh, which records uh, position scale and of the active object. So, for example, if I make it, I move our object here, and I press this, it will automatically record our position. Okay, now let's see in the parameter how does the keyframes work. Okay, let's see. For example, in the sides. Okay, uh, this little circle down here represent the um, keyframe activation. If uh, they are empty, it means there are no keyframes here. If we want to turn this on, just go on, uh, right click, go on animation, and uh, click add keyframe. Okay, so everything will be affected by this action because these are linked together. Okay, we are at frame 19. Now let's move to frame uh, 30. We can uh, scale our object in, the, in our viewport. And we can add a keyframe. Okay. So you can see our box ch size changed to the time just because we uh, set keyframe directly on the parameters. We can use this uh, in, a, in every parameter we want. Just just click and do this. Uh, the 
remember to change position on the, the timeline. Uh, if you don't want this animation, just go on uh, animation and uh, delete the track and it delete all the animation we set. So uh, as you can see the box size is static. We can also move through the keyframes directly without scrolling the timeline to uh, the timeline bar just click on animation and go into next keyframe as you can see it automatically moved to frame 12 because there are a new keyframe on frame 12 so this is it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i hope you hope uh, you learn something from this tutorial thank you again goodbye